Welcome back to Daily DJ, this is Trevsky. I'm taking you on my journey of going from zero DJ experience to hopefully playing at festivals and making music with my idols. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how I identify, add, and categorize songs to my sets and my playlists. And this uses a mix of Spotify, SoundCloud, Beatport, and Rekordbox. So stay tuned and see this very simple, very easy and effective method at organizing songs based on genre and how they would fit together in a set. I have no idea if this is the best method, but it's the one that I've been using since I started DJing. And I found it very effective to find music that really goes well together, not just hearing and listening to a consistent sound, but also finding songs that transition well together. So if you have any other ideas, please, please share them in the comments. I would love to learn new strategies and hear what you think about mine. Let's get into it. I have in Spotify here a bunch of different genre specific playlists and I collect all of these songs. Obviously some of these are not that complete. Um, I use mostly SoundCloud to do the playlists nowadays because it syncs directly with Rekordbox. But basically, whenever I listen to a song, whether it's on Spotify, YouTube, anywhere, I'll Shazam stuff at sets. I'll add it to this playlist on Spotify called Sort. And basically, what that means is it's just bookmarking things for me to get the genre of and add to a specific playlist later. So right now, I have almost 100 songs and five hours of songs to identify and add to playlists. So I'm gonna do an example here of what I would do after I get these songs in the playlist. So first I'll search in SoundCloud for the track. I will listen to the track to make sure that it's the right one because there's a lot of different versions on SoundCloud, a lot of unofficial ones. And if it sounds about right and the length of the song checks out, then that's usually the one that I'll use for adding to playlists. But I'll always look for extended versions because the extended versions are a lot easier for DJing because they have intros and outros and usually are adjusted for optimal BPM and things like that. But also I'll look at how many likes the tracks have. Usually the ones with the most likes are the ones that are the ones that I've heard on the radio, on Spotify, etc. So those are the ones that I want to bookmark by liking them and then I can go add them to playlists. Now from there, I'll take the track name and go to this website called Chosik. It's a music genre finder. Type it in here, see what comes up. Sometimes I'll have to adjust the name of the song because it's kind of case sensitive. So usually I have to fool around just a little bit. So I'll delete a little thing here. But once it pops up, you can look to see it provides all this information about the track. So different ratings of different things like energy, danceability, popularity, but also the BPM, loudness, length, what key it's in, cool things like that. But the most important thing are the genres on Spotify here. So usually the ones on the left, I think are the most popular or the highest match genres, but I'll usually consider all of them here. So the ones that I would consider are out of these ones, mostly big room because the other ones I don't really have playlists for and stuff like Scanda Pop and Danish Electronic are very specific. So there's not many times you'll add songs to those playlists. But next, just because I'm not sure about what genre this should be on, I'll put it in another website. I'll use Beatport for this because Beatport is specifically geared for DJs and it usually provides an accurate genre based on DJ standards. So here we find the track on Beatport. And what does it say? It actually says the genre is Future Rave, which is a genre that David Guetta is pioneering right now. But if you click on this genre, you can see a little bit more details about the genre if you're not familiar with it. In this case, it's a subgenre of main stage, which is one of the one of my favorite genres right now. Big room and main stage, I actually have the same playlist for. So I'll add it to the big room slash main stage playlist, but I usually also add any track that I add to playlist to my DJ playlist, which is an overall summary of all my DJ songs. Now to get the tracks into Rekordbox, it's actually really easy because SoundCloud syncs directly with Rekordbox and I pay for the DJ subscription for SoundCloud. But now you can see it appears in my big room main stage playlist. Very easy and very quick to add tracks to playlists and then instantly start DJing with them. 
And then of course, Recordbox will bring up all of the track data by analyzing it. So another example is this song by Martin Garrix and Moti. It has multiple genres and I actually use it in multiple playlists. So here's in the Tropical House playlist. This is in the Anthemic main stage playlist. Sometimes, a lot of the time, songs will apply to multiple genres. So as you can see here, it says Tropical House, Progressive House, Electro House, House, just a bunch of different playlists that I already have. So I will consult Beatport and Beatport says Big Room. When there's no clear recommendation for the genre, I'll listen to it myself. And then based on the other tracks I already have in the playlists, I will see which one it fits best into or if I want to fit it into multiple sets. So that's really it. It's a quick, easy, and effective method to get songs that you just hear on the radio, on Spotify, at a bar, at a club, directly into your sets. Hope you enjoyed this new type of video. I just want to get more behind the scenes on what I do behind the camera to prepare songs for my practices, for my sets. And just to show you another angle of what goes through my mind when I'm building sets, listening to music, figuring out what songs go together. Oh yeah, by the way, side note, I got three hours of sleep the past two days, so this weekend's been very exhausting and I really did not think I could put out a high energy practice set for you guys. So I didn't want to come out with some low energy, low effort video and I decided to do something like this because I thought it would still provide value and I don't have to be like rocking out because I have zero energy left. So hopefully, hopefully it worked out okay. I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Please let me know if you have a better method or if you like my method because I would love to improve myself. I don't know, again, if this is the best method, but it's the one I've been using. So please, please leave me your feedback and let me know anything else that I should be doing to improve. I hope to see you again tomorrow. I'm here every day, Daily DJ, let's get it. Oh, I almost did the wrong uh, outro there. Let's go. See you tomorrow.